Long time no see, guys. COVID stuff got me like in over my head. Pretty much had to shut down, but I did get to film this. That's a cool video, a good friend of mine, and uh, some interesting things happened. In today's video, I got a buddy that's driving across the island. He is towing a lot of weight. He's got a tandem axle dump truck. Uh, on his trailer. He's got a similar setup to mine, uh, but it's a F550, 12,000 pound axles on the trailer. Yeah, he's almost here, so we're gonna go uh, see what's up. We're gonna head down the highway, meet him, get some rolling shots. I think I see him there. I think that's, I'm not sure. I see something big coming and it doesn't look normal. Nope, that's not it. It's actually a nice truck. There he is. I saw the truck. I saw the uh, dump truck long before I saw him. Alright, let's get turned around. Holy shit! What a load. This needs to be witnessed. <laughs> uh, that 550 is suffering, I bet. <laughs> the back of his trailer is almost touching the ground. <laughs> well, would you just look at that. So I'm not saying any names, I'm not saying the names of anything, but uh, so this guy here friggin' messaged me up and said, yo, can I haul this? <laughs> and I asked him for the, the specs and everything on his trailer and his truck, and uh, man, hell yeah, you can haul that. That got hauled over some pretty steep hills. Um, pretty impressive, actually. You can tell those 10-ply tires are not having a good time, but I mean, she's here, she made it. Now, not only is that, not only is that truck coming here, but he's taking another one on the trailer and leaving with it. That shit's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that does not look like a happy trailer. <laughs> Jesus, man. It's like bent and the tires are squat and it's like holy shit. Yeah, those are like 26, 27,000 pounds. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> it's fine. No, no, I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm just saying that's how much that weighs. <laughs> man, how do those necks hold up to it though? Yeah, I have no idea. Like just some 12 inch I beam, man. So we got a huge hill coming up here. See how fast he's going right now. He's doing 120. <laughs> Let's see how he goes up this hill. Slowing in, going 100. Going 90. Man, that F550 is killing it. And now he's picking up speed again. Wow, that was a that was like an incline and he is doing 90 kilometers an hour. It's like 55 up a huge incline. Very impressive. Man, he is working that thing. You gotta ask him if he went full throttle. You know he went full throttle. This is a full send kind of gig. For those of you wondering, uh, he is not uh, it's his uh, it's a construction company. It is not um, a motor carrier, you would say. So who cares? This is fine. Woo.
hubs aren't even warm. Alright, they're 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 fucking warm, but <laughs> you got on the brakes hard there. Yeah, he's like, oh, I think it's right here. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Man, the tires uh <laughs> What's that? Oh they're smoking. Can you see that on the camera on it? <laughs> Definitely a bit of heat in my ass. Holy shit. Man, that truck, that truck was hauling that, like, you were full throttle. What? You were full throttle. Oh, yeah, right there. Before. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> like, I sent cruise control coming out here at 100, and she just doddled on. Like, <laughs> you cruise controlled it. That's crazy though. That's just it's so, that's so heavy. <laughs> All right, so 40 foot load trail, 10 ply tires, 12,000 pound axles. 2018 F550. As if nothing just happened. <laughs> so does that work at all? Nope. What's the plan? Was there a plan? <laughs> Get it on. <laughs> yeah, cut her this way. Yeah, that way. No, no. The way you had her. What? <laughs> yep. Hold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still in four-wheel drive. Oh no. I was like, what do you mean allergic to steak? He's allergic to steak. How do you mean allergic to steak? I was like, what's up, dude? He's like, oh, my throat's closing off, but like, I'm gonna get this poutine in me and then I need you to bring me to, bring me to my house. And oh I was my like, god. He finishes his poutine, like, he scarfs his poutine down. He's like, all right, we're gonna need to go to my house, like, right now or I'm actually gonna die. And I was like, okay. So, we, like, halfway to his house, he looks at me, he's like, hey, I'm like, yeah, he's like, you ever see my eyes watering like this? He's like, I'm not panicking right now, but I'm just telling you that you should panic. How long he takes his pills? He's in the house for a while later. I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, fuck me, this guy just die in his house. He comes out and he's like, no, I'm gonna just change my socks, they were wet. I was like, man, fuck you, he's giving me a heart attack. <laughs> Things didn't go quite to plan at all. There was absolutely no way that we could get the dead truck to run. So what he was doing was he was bringing in a, uh, a tandem axle dump truck, and then he was loading up another tandem axle dump truck to bring out. One didn't work, and they're using the other one, the one they brought in to haul out the excavator. So it was a bit of a mess, and then we could not figure out any way to get air into this thing. After like two or three hours, we had to go to the nearby community to borrow someone's air compressor, and we ran it off my generator. We used like all the tools, and we 
like put together a puzzle of fittings and airline joinings and a whole bunch of stuff and we managed to get a tire valve stuck out so that we could put the end of the air compressor hose onto it and f get the brakes off of the truck no one could figure out the bolts for caging the brakes were taken out it was like it was like one thing after another and we were about to give up and this we just said okay let's try one more time let's try this and try this and we finally got it it finally worked those guys hit rock bottom they had already been there uh by the time like we were able to get the brakes off and start loading stuff um it's quite the experience but got the brakes off and here's the mess of trying to move it and get it onto the trailer so we spent a while now trying to get the brakes off on this Yeah, it's looking good. Come on! Come on! That way, that way, that way, that way! Straight, straight, straight! All right, keep her to the left. To the right. Yeah. All right, keep. Okay, now straighten her up, no? Inch by inch, I guess. Re 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 Man, that's pretty much it, I think. We got her! It is on the fucking trailer! Yeah! Goddamn <laughs> time! Hey! Yes, <laughs> stay in there. Get on the fucking trailer, Tim! Fuck yeah! Don't call Pop the windows, no shut her down! Cut her off, but fuck her all that. Don't call it no more. Got that on, chained it down, he dragged that tandem axle dump truck all the way back. And they had no issues. Crazy what these trucks are capable of. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Danger underscore industries in Instagram is where I post updates. Gonna be getting back into the swing of things. F450, it's still happening. Uh, I'm gonna make an update for that in the next video. Next video, we're gonna be getting ready to be uh, back on the road Should be pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this one though. It was uh, Interesting cool helping out as always hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you know the drill you know what to do Not gonna tell you you guys you guys have a good day <laughs>